Hello. <clears throat> Hello, my beloved human audience. And welcome back to Fallout 3, the Deadpool build. And as you may recall, whenever from last video... Tamper with that, they're going to have a problem. Okay, okay. Yeah. For some reason, I can't seem to get my copy of the outer world again. And I just finished working with that a bunch. And I still need to figure out figure it out. So I'm kind of worried that this may mean the end of my Captain America build and playthrough. Which would be a big shame. I really like that game and I didn't get to finish it or even get very far. Oh! And we left off on a major thing, just getting off the space. That will suck big time, but I can't for the life of me figure out how to get it working, or even what's wrong. But, enough about that, um, what would you call it? Enough about that, uh, bummer news. Yeah, that sounds about right. Our replicated man quest, and I need to listen to this hollow tape. Then someone, wait, no, it's a note. Then someone should be coming to see me. Time's running out on finding that android. We don't get him soon, someone else will. Zimmer doesn't seem to understand we're the best at this sort of thing. I'm sure he's had others too. He won't shut up about the thing. He was babbling about a lipoplasticator and microdermal graftalizer. What are those, you ask? Apparently something doctors use to mess up someone's face beyond recognition. So we don't even have a description to work off of. To make matters worse, he now thinks the android got his memories wiped or something. Find some tech junkies, knock and try to find something called a circuit neuralizer. Knock on some heads too if you have to. Get it done. I wonder if that's sister or someone talking to sister. Oh, I bet it's someone talking to sister. I guess that may not be a scripted event like I thought it was. Someone... Is that her? Yes, it is. You've been rather busy lately. Asking questions. Investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator? A detective for hire? Or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone? Please, tell me. I'd really like to know. You know that's not very smart. Letting someone looking for somebody know that you're the one hiding them. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Who the hell are you? Look, whoever this missing android is, I just want to help, okay? What I do with my time is now your business. Who the hell are you? Fine. Let's cut to the chase. My name is Victoria Watts. I work for a movement whose goals are directly opposed to your own, apparently. It seems you're trying very hard to locate an android my associates and I have tried very hard to hide. You can see how that puts us at odds. What would you have me do now? Now, what would you have me do? You really want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. Do that and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Do that and you'll have saved a man's life. Anything else I should know? Just understand that this android is now, for all intents and purposes, a man. He looks human, he acts human, he believes he is human. But even if he's not, even if he's a machine, he's capable of rational thought and emotion. 
So you see, his soul is as human as yours or mine. This person, and he is a person. If there's a shred of decency in you, don't take that away from him. If I help you, is there some kind of reward? Of course. If you help me, and thus the android, God and the universe will smile upon you. Is there any better compensation? Oh, there isn't anything I'd say to that. Deadpool would laugh in this woman's face. Wish I could. What's this movement you mentioned? We call ourselves the Railroad. Our mission is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. What about human slaves? Do you try to help them too? Yes, if we are able. But there are others in the wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. Our android brethren have only us. Hmm. I'd be into that right now. I have to go now. You know what you need to do. tell Zimmer that he's dead. That'd be a kind of lame way to end this quest. I think there's supposed to be like more hollow tapes around. I can use to find out more about this guy. At the very least I want to find out who he is before I end this quest. Door to stairwell. If you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case, because this recording puts us both in... Yeah, I already got the whole tape there. Nice day, huh? Here. Yep. Wait. Ah, uh, the book. Oh, this is a clinic already been through here. Hmm. Oh, I bet there'd be some in the science lab. Here, carrot, and an apple. 
Nice, they've been growing all that fruit and veggies. I keep thinking that would be a place outside. No, no papers over there. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any?
Maybe I should just end it here. Welcome. Quite an impressive collection, isn't it? Well, don't be shy. Have a look around. Abraham Washington's the name. Curator of this little slice of American history. Yes, it's an interesting collection indeed. Ooh. I'll say that, but since I'm Deadpool, I'm saying it all sarcastic-like, and he just won't notice. Ah, a fellow scholar, I see. Each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. It has to be the Declaration of Independence. All right, I'll bite. Which document is missing? Wait, what else is there? What's missing is my ability to stay awake now. This one's good. In 1776, the Second Judgmental Congress got together and adopted a document drafted by none other than Thomas Jefferson himself. It was the day the United States of America earned its name and secured its place in history. This magnificent achievement took form in the Declaration of Independence. If you want me to retrieve the Declaration, all you have to do is ask. Let me take a leap of faith here. You want me to find it for you. Point. This is good. Indeed I do. Without the Declaration, the rest of these relics are almost meaningless. I must have it. Acquire the document for me, and you'll be awarded most handsomely. What do you think? I'd love to be a part of history and bring you the Declaration. Slow down there, Gramps. What's this reward you're talking about? Never said anything about a reward. Not, oh wait, no, he did. He said I'd be paid handsomely. I forgot that part. What's this reward you're talking about? You'd secure your place in history. The man who rediscovered the Declaration of Independence. Imagine the fanfare. And we stop beating around the bush. What's the reward? Hmm. Canvas. Sorry, my mind tends to wonder. I will see to it that you receive a worthwhile trade. I have in my possession the only known schematic for the creation of something called the Railway Rifle. Bring me the declaration and it's yours. I can't say yes because I wanted the rifle. Uh, well, nothing's perfect. I'd love to be a part of history and bring you the declaration. Excellent! Well, you won't regret it, I promise you. Imagine, you are taking part in another chapter of American history. I envy you. You can find the Declaration of Independence in the ruins of the National Archives. No, I'm not going to sell to him. If you'd like to make an offer for vengeance, no, I'm not selling that anymore. I've got a wanted poster. No, I'm going to sell the Lincoln stuff to those Lincoln, to those Lincoln freaks. I have a few questions about the Declaration of Independence. Please ask them. After all, knowledge is power. All this info on the Declaration, where do you get it? I don't like secrets. Well, um, this is quite embarrassing, actually. I sent someone like yourself after the Declaration. She did some of the research for me, but now I haven't seen her in a few months. I wouldn't worry about it. Many have died for causes far less grand than what you're about to undertake. Ha! Ah, that's so assuring. What does the Declaration of Independence look like? A piece of what was called parchment. Sort of a thick paper. Has faded handwritten writing all over it. 
It's no more than two and a half feet tall and two feet wide. If you find it, you should be able to roll it up carefully. That's... what's the history behind the document? Oh, this should be good. On July the 4th, in 1776, a group calling themselves the Second Judgmental Congress got together at Fort McCary in Maryland. After a ceremony which ended with Paul Revere singing the famous battle hymn known as the National Anthem, the document was signed. From there, it was sent to England by plane, presumably, and presented to King George himself. Thus began the Evolutionary War. Ah. I don't know anything because he never went to school in the post-apocalypse. Let me ask you something Certainly. Else. Can you show me the National Archives on my map? In the DC ruins, you'll find the National Archives, or what's left of it anyway. The building should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful. The place is swarming with super mutants. Here, let me pinpoint its location for you. I didn't say anything. Well, I've looked around a bit. I have to go now. Remember, treat the document with care. It's a fragile piece of our history. Is there anything on this shelf? Got stone columns like that in here. That's crazy. You know, aside from not wanting to end this quest, there's also the matter that Deadpool uh, wouldn't do something like this without a reward. Despite the harshness of the wasteland, I've discovered in more than a few here a compassion that is unheard of in the Commonwealth. Perhaps it's the daily struggle for life here which gives appreciation for life in general, whether human or android. In a few days, I'll be a free man. A new man. Let me say thank you now for referring me to Pinkerton at Ribbit City, because I will not remember any of this soon. Oh, that's a good lead. Oh, hey! Well, I think I'm gonna end this video here before it starts getting too long. But yeah, wasn't a lot of action, but it was still pretty good and all. Updated the quest and got a new one for whenever I leave this rust bucket. I hope for you to join me in the next video where we'll hopefully be completing the Replicated Man. Until then, goodbye.